Evening guys, just get um, all set up. How you doing? Evening, Saturday evening. We're doing another broadcast. A few people have sent their apologies. It's busy out there, which is which is good, I guess. It's it's good that things are opening up. So I just thought I'd keep our hand in before the darker evenings, and we've got um, yeah big plans during October. So stay tuned for more live broadcasts. So evening. Okay, everybody's settled in. All good. Between nine and ten, we've got a quizzy quiz. Lots of famous this and that. If you're newcomers and you're tuning in for the first time, God bless you. Only golden rule, apart from cheating, no answers on the feed. You simply self-score self-mark and at the end of each round you let us know on the live feed whether it's facebook on youtube or on our own very webs or on very own website how well you're doing hey billy and anna hey deirdre on the website all good so between nine and ten quizzy quiz four by three by four your off-road quizzy quiz lots of famous this and that with a picture round and then from about 10 15 on our website if you've got a weakness hey william um texas ted with or without the tattoo up in Derry, you're very welcome hey chickpeas all good all good where was i yeah if you like your music come on to our website at around 10 15 for a spot of Fastest finger. All good. Hey, Paul. Ryder Cup in the background. Yeah. Twin screening. All good. How are Europe doing? Are they... Do you think they could catch up? Anyway. We'll quiz while other people are playing golf. So you can multitask for the next hour or so. So, all good. Shall we get going? Maurice, hola, hola. Are you, you ever in Ireland, apart from going to Kroger? You've got the life of it, Maurice. Like your style. Okay, three famous Jones to kick off. Famous Jones. The Maid of Orleans or Orléans. Famous Joan number one. The Maid of Orleans or Orléans is your famous Joan number one. No answers on the feed, remember? Famous Joan number two. Joan Collins. Yeah, Joan Collins. Remember Joan Collins? She played Alexis Carrington Colby in which prime time TV soap? Alexis Carrington Colby, Joan Collins. Give me the name of the soap. Famous Joan. Number two. Houston, no problem. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Bernie, Edie, and Aoife on YouTube. Screens all over the place. Fabulous. A few apologies. A few people partying tonight. So they'll be watching tomorrow on playback. We've got it all covered here. Famous Joan number three. After you got the soap for Alexis. Carrington Colby. Hey, Isabel in San Diego. Famous Joan number three. Love and affection. Me, myself, I drop the pilot. Is your famous Joan number three. From love and affection, me, myself, I and drop the pilot. Famous Joan number three. Your first set of three. Okay, easing you in nice and slowly. Four, five, and six. Famous firsts. So you get the year, you get the event, and you give me the person involved. Okay, three historical famous firsts. Famous first, number one. Year, 19, not even 19. I take that back. 1836, the first Telegraph message. Who? 
famous first. Number one, 1836, the first telegraph message. Is your famous first one? Question four. Famous first, number two, if that's not a contradiction in terms. The year, 1798. 1798, very appropriate. The first vaccine, 1798. The condition for smallpox. Who would that be? Mm, tricky, quizzy. First vaccine, smallpox, the year 1798. Who? Tricky. Was he famous first? Number two. Kira and Christina, welcome. Famous first. Number three. The year 1939. 1939. The first televised presidential address 1939 the first televised presidential address who famous first number Isabel, not being too good. Hope you're well, Isabel, in San Diego. Hope you're doing good. Okay, after three famous Jones, three famous firsts, and don't worry if you're playing catch up, we'll do a recap as we always do in writing at the end of each round. Seven, eight, and nine. Famous mosts in sport. Three famous mosts in sport. Sticking with the Ryder Cup, before this Ryder Cup, the one that's on the other screen, Paul in the background, before this Ryder Cup, which golfer, 25 and a half points, has most points? So the golfer with most points in Ryder Cup history before this Ryder Cup. Who's that? Famous sporting most. Well, mm. most points in Ryder Cup golf history before this. Famous sporting most, number two. Quite simply, most Premier League goals. Which footballer has scored most Premier League goals? Is your famous sporting most two? Most Premier League goals. Okay, dokes. Famous sporting most three. Most race wins in Formula One history. Formula One driver with the most race wins. Individual race wins in Formula One history is your famous sporting most three. All good on Facebook Live, YouTube, and our own very own website. Final bunch of three in your first round. Famous colours. Three famous colours. Famous colour number one. Alicia Beth Moore. Alicia Beth Moore. Famous colour number one. 
Alicia Beth Moore. Famous color. Number one. Famous color. Colors even. Number two. I'm describing something. What am I describing? Red and black are the dominant colours. Green appears once, zero, or twice, zero, zero, if it's in America. What am I describing? Red and black are the dominant colours. Green appears in zero, or if in the US, zero and zero, zero. What on earth am I describing? Famous colour, colours. Number two. Mm. Red and black dominant colours. Green, zero. In America, zero and zero, zero. Okay, and your final. Hey Tracy, hey Vincent, having a go at the quiz in Dunseverick is the Boyd Hog clan doing not too bad. Tracy, enjoy. Well done in Dunseverick. Excellent. Dunseverick, San Diego, London, truly international. And your famous colour number three. Oldest military award still given to the US military members. So, oldest military award, US military members still given. Famous colour, number three. Okay, shall we recap? on round one. Yep, we shall. Here we go. Okay, so let's recap on round one. Your three famous Jones, the maid of Orléans, Joan Collins played Alexis Carrington Colby in which prime time TV soap? Love and Affection, Me, Myself, I, Drop the Pilot, your famous Joan number three. 1836, first telegraph message, who? 1798, first vaccine for smallpox, who? 1939, famous first number three, first televised presidential address, who? And your famous sporting mosts. Prior to this Ryder Cup, which golfer has most points? Ah, oh, I've given you a clue. Most Premier League goals? Who? And most race wins in Formula One history? And then your famous colours, Alicia Beth Moore. And then your red and black with green, zero, zero, zero. What am I describing? And the oldest military award given to US military members. Your three famous colours. So you've got 12 potential points in round one. How did you get on? Well, let's find out. And at the end of each round, post your scores, guys. And Emer says we're in water foot. Even more international. Thank you, Emer. Okay, your answers to round one. Did you get Joan of Arc? Did you remember Dynasty? Did you get Joan Armatrading? Samuel Morse, Tricky, Edward Jenner, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Sergio Garcia, Alan Shearer, Lewis Hamilton, Pink, Alicia Beth Moore. I was describing a roulette wheel. And Purple Heart, your three famous colours. 12 points available, so post your team names and your scores on the live feed. Who you are 
and how well you're doing. That would be fab. Paddy out of the blocks with Bridge in the coal pits, maxing out on 12. Maurice and Marie or Mary, 11 out of 12. Amigo, Gunas Nachis, Senor, Claire and Andrew, Mac Jacks, 11 out of 12. Mountain Pung in London, 8 out of 12. Vanessa and Stephen, 11. Cahiz in the doll. Well done, the Higgins, 12. Deirdre Mac, 8. Douglas Clan, hi Heather on 10. And William and Texas Ted up in Derry on 11. Let's get quizzical, hi hey, Gemma on 10. Great stuff. Bernie, Eddie, and Eva 11. Billy and Connor in the cave on 10. And the chickpeas on 9. Claire, sorry, Kira and Christina. I've had my eyes tested. New glasses are coming. 8 out of 12. Good stuff, guys. Round 2. Round 2. Keep posting scores if you're a little bit behind. No pressure. Team Dev. Hey, Team Dev. Glad you could make it. 11 out of 12. Round 2. Connections. You know the drill. Three bits of random information. Tracy. 9 out of 12 for the Cloud Chasers. Rhonda, the Waltons, plus Karen and Stephen. Hey, Karen and Stephen. The Waltons squared this evening on 11 out of 12. A strong team down there. Carnegie Air Collective. Shaggy start, but you always get better in round 2, 3 and 4, don't you, Carnegie Air, on 8. Fabulous. Good stuff. Connections. Where was I? Three bits of random information. You join the dots. What connects? No answers on the feed. Okay. Some toughies here this evening. Emer. 7 out of 12 on the East Coast. Well done, Emer. Vincent, shout out to the Tedwards, we are quizzing until Anthony Joshua gets knocked out. Okay. Sporting evening, Ryder Cup, Lever Cup, boxing, and this. What connects? What connects a British Formula One family, British Formula One family, with wise guy slash goodfellas, with Audrey Faith McGraw. What connects? Audrey Faith McGraw with a British Formula One family with wise guy slash goodfellas. Good luck with that. What connects? Andrea, happy birthday. You're doing the quiz on Tuesday. Great. Whether live or in playback. All covered here. Pair live. What connects number two? What connects Mulder, as in X-Files, Rupert Murdoch's mass media company with Marty McFly? So what connects Marty McFly with Mulder, X-Files and Rupert Murdoch's media company? What connects? Number two. Mm. Connections are good. What are you thinking? What connects? What connects? Number three, what connects? 
a Wild West outlaw with an American track and field athlete with the Bible, the father of David. So the father of David, Wild West outlaw and an American track and field athlete. What connects? Number three. Okay. Pace okay. Connection four. What connects? What connects a transfer of property with the 18th US president, who was also the Union general during the American Civil War, with Archibald Alex Leach, associated many times with Alfred Hitchcock. So I'll just go over that once again, shall I? Yep. What connects your transfer of property with the 18th US president, who was also the Union general during the American Civil War, with Archibald Alex Leach, who would often be associated with Alfred Hitchcock. Quizzy, tricky, connection number four. U.S. President, Union General, Archibald Alex Leach, Hitchcock, Transfer of Property. Connection 5. What connects? Back to the Bible. What connects the son of Noah with an amateur radio operator with Badfinger's lead singer? Badfinger's lead singer, I think, there'd be very few people know that. Paddy, Martin, Billy, son of Noah. Best clue, an, Ameri an American, an amateur radio operator. Good luck. Tricky connection out there, like me. Number five. Hmm. Six. While well, you're figuring out the son of Noah. What connects? Number six. An Italian trader. A famous Italian trader. Volkswagen. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, Volkswagen, an Italian trader. What connects? Number six. Good in the cool pits, Paddy. Seven. What connects? What connects the state of North Carolina with an English explorer with a bicycle manufacturer? Bicycle manufacturer? North Carolina? And a famous English explorer? What connects? Number seven.
Connection number eight. What connects? What connects Wonder Woman with the revolution with royalty or nobility? So royalty or nobility, the revolution with Wonder Woman. Saw that, Patty. Wonder Woman, the revolution, royalty or nobility. Connection nine. What connects? What connects Chile, as in South America, with the old man in the sea, as in Ernest Hemingway, with Real Madrid? Real Madrid, as in La Liga, the old man in the sea, Chile, your connection, number nine. Connection 10. What connects? What connects a Roman poet with in the heat of the night, as in Sidney Poitier, as in the song The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down? A tricky, quizzy connection. What connects a Roman poet with in the heat of the night? With the night they drove old Dixie down. Is your definitely tricky, quizzy connection number 10. A couple of real testers. Roman poet. The movie In the Heat of the Night, Sidney Poitier, and the song The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. Your penultimate connection, but one. What connects Cluedo, as in the game, an important spice, with a shade of yellow? A shade of yellow, an important spice, and Cluedo, as in the board game. Your penultimate connection, Number 11. And your final connection. They've been a tricky bunch this evening. What connects? Montana, as in the state. A Midsummer's Night's Dream, as in Shakespeare. With Kenneth Branagh and Tim Burton. So... We'll compartmentalise Kenneth Branagh and Tim Burton. What connects them with a Midsummer's Night's Dream with the state of Montana? Wow. Catch your breath after that. Okay, let's... Um, let's put your connections up on the screen, shall we? So there's your round two connections. I'll leave those with you for a few moments as you ponder, consider a tricky 12 connections. I'll just leave those with you momentarily. See you shortly. Well, you'll see me shortly.
Okay, so your 12 connections, 12 points available. Happy you've sorted them out. And then when you're posting your scores, do me a favor, post your aggregate out of 24. Your answers, your answers coming up to your 12 connections right now. Okay, good luck written for you. Here's your 12 answers to your 12 connections. So, did you figure out the hills as in Graham and Damon, as in Faith, as in Henry, played by Ray Lyota in Goodfellas? Fox, as in Mulder, as in Rupert Murdoch, as in Michael J. Jesse, as in James, as in Owens, as in David in the Bible. Cary Grant, Ulysses S. Grant, and Grant, as in probate or property transfer. Ham, as in radio operator. Paddy, as in Pete Ham. Badfinger, as in son of Noel. Noah. Marco Polo, Polo. Volkswagen, Ralph Lauren, Polo, Raleigh, North Carolina, Walter Raleigh, Sir Walter, Bicycles, Raleigh, Wonder Woman, Diana, Prince, Prince in the Revolution, Prince as in nobility and royalty, Santiago, capital of Chile, as in the old man who was the old man in the sea, as in Bernabeu, Roman poet, Virgil in the heat of the night, Virgil Tibbs, and the night they drove old Dixie down, Virgil Cain. Mustard, Colonel Mustard, Mustard Yellow, Helena, or Helena, Helena Bonham Carter, uh, as in Midsummer's Night's Dream. So out of 24, how are you getting on? So Mac Jacks, 23, superb out of 24. Kira and Christina on 14. Team Dev, superb, 23 out of 24. Post your scores out of 24. Douglas Clan, Heather, 19 out of 24. Keep the scores flooding in. And after round two, we'll do round three, which is a picture round. Come on to that in a moment. Mountain Pungs, Mulbeck, London, like it, 17 out of 24. Billy and Connor in the cave, 18. Vanessa and Stephen on 22. Tricky connections, they were Desi, 21. Maurice, Buenos Noches, 21. Deirdre, 18. Chickpeas, 19. William and Texas Ted going strong on 19 on Facebook Live. Bernie, I'm all confused. 11 out of 12 in the first round and 9. Uh, give us your cumulative out of 24. Chickpeas, 19. Let's get Quizzic Quizzical, 20. Paddy, Bridge, 23. Paul, 19. And Shane's just sank a great putt. Love it. Keep me posted on all things Ryder Cup. Rhonda. Waltons. 20 out of 24. Carnegie Collective. Not really improving. I'll, I'll, I'll try and improve. I'll try and get better in the next round. But thank you. Me you're talking about? Well done on 16 Carnegie Collective. Superb. Scoring guys. Round three. What have I got at... The Cloud Chasers from Vape Venue. Tracy, 17 out of 24. Loving it. Loving it. Okay, dokes, round three. Okay, what I've got in store for you in round three are Oscar winning movies. So, in reverse order, reverse chrono chronological order, you've got 12 Oscar winning movies. Somewhere. Who cares? I, I kind of remember. Anyway, 12 Oscar winning movies. So I think I've started in 2015 and then we go back in five year intervals right back to 1960. So you identify best picture and there's 12 of them. Best picture, Oscar winning movies. There's a dozen of them. Number one, name the Oscar winning pictures. Number one, good luck.
Oscar winning picture from 2010. Best picture. Good luck. Five years before that, 2005. Best picture, name the movie. Movie number four, 2000, best picture. Good luck. Nineteen ninety five. Name the movie Best Picture. Five years back. 1990, best picture. Eighty five, best picture. Tricky. Best picture, 1980. Actually, I tell a fib. This is 74. And there's a reason. But anyway, 74. Careful. Best picture.
Best Picture. Name the movie. Academy Award winning, 1970. Ah, oh, pedal the kick. 65. Tricky. 1960. We go back to 1960. Movie buffs, I suggest. Good luck. Best picture. 1960. Enjoy. Okie dokes, quick fly through, starting at the top. Hey Lucy, 95. Sure. A reason why I went to 75. Pictures from sixty five and six. And the complete reverse for nineteen sixty. So Okay, how did you get on? Well, only one way to find out, as they say. Good luck. So there's your 12 Oscar winning best pictures to give you a cumulative running total of 36. So when you're posting your scores, give me your aggregate running cumulative total out of 36. Spotlight, The King's Speech. Well done if you figured out Crash. I'm sure you got Gladiator, Braveheart, Dances with Wolves. Yeah, probably. Out of Africa, mm, maybe not. Ordinary People, well done. Anybody who figured out Ordinary People. And Godfather, yep, we need to have part two. Patton, well done. Sound of Music, yeah. The Apartment, well done. If you got Shirley MacLaine and Jack Lemmon starring in the 1960 Best Picture, The Apartment. 12 points gives you a cumulative grand total of 36 as we go into our final round, guys.
So post your scores out of 36. Claire, Andrew, Mike Jacks, 34. Kira and Christina, 34. Mountain Pungs, Malbec, Light Your Style, 23. Douglas Clamp, superb, up to 28. Deirdre Mac, 25. Cahiz and Adol, superb, 30. Let's get Quizzical on 30. Maurice and Marie on 31. Deirdre Mac on 25. Comfortably dumb on 32. Chickpeas on 28. So Claire and Andrew and the Mac Jacks, I think, are on the lead on 34. Another candle on the cake. Emer, well done on 26. Houston, no problem. Superb, 31. So I think it's the Mac Jacks. Maybe just from Comfortably Dumb and Maurice and Bernie over on YouTube on 28. Rhonda and the Waltons and the gang. Stephen and Karen on 28. Sandra and Simon. Internet trouble. Missed the first round. Who cares? Good to have you. Because good to have you. Okay, guys. Team Dev on 33. Frogs on 27. Carnegie Air Collective on 24. Paul on 29. Houston, no problem, 31. It is tight at the top as we move into our final round. Waiting on William in Texas, Ted. But sure. Final round. All good? Your final round of four. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, so, quick update. Um, we're going to have a couple of weeks break. Uh, there's a reason. There's a reason. So, but we're planning big things as we move into time changes and darker evenings. So, stay tuned. We'll still be doing on this day every day on our Facebook page. So thank you if you enjoy that and some very good quizzers on that. So stay tuned for future events. A couple of weeks break, we're planning big things as the darker evenings and winter comes. If that's okay, is that, is that okay? Okay, and we'll maybe do some video clips next time around and still working on leaderboards, but that takes time and money, but yeah. We've got big plans for the winter. Final round. Thanks for tuning in this evening. Three famous Kiwis. Three famous Kiwis. Mm. Famous Kiwi number one. Oscar winning actor. I do like movies. Oscar winning actor. Maximus Decimus Meridius. Maximus Decimus Meridius is your Oscar winning actor famous Kiwi number one. Who's that? Maximus Decimus Meridius. Oscar winning actor is your famous Kiwi number one. Famous Kiwi number two. Highest point scorer in test match rugby union history. Yep. Highest point scorer in Test Match Rugby Union history, famous Kiwi, two. Maurice Doss. Team Dev on 33. Mike Jacks on 34. Maurice, 31. Paddy and Breeds, 32. Vanessa and Stephen, 31. It's tight at the top. Most exciting quiz I've been at in a fortnight. Famous Kiwi, number three. A physicist. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, he is considered the greatest experimentalist since Michael Faraday. So he's a physicist, and he's a Kiwi, obviously. And according to Encyclopedia Britannica, he's the greatest experimentalist since Michael Faraday. Famous Kiwi, number three. Final round, four, five, and six. Famous scientists. 
sticking with the old physicist. So you're going to get famous scientists. You're going to get their surnames. We've done this with philosophers. We're now doing this with scientists. So you get the surname. I want the first name. You got it? Okay. Famous scientists. Three of them. We're looking for the first names. Copernicus. Copernicus. First name. Mm. Boyle. Boyle. Famous scientist. First name, please. Mr. Boyle. Famous scientist, number three, Nobel, or Nobel, Nobel, as in prize. First name, Copernicus, Boyle, and Nobel. First names, please. So we're on first name terms with famous scientists. Be polite. Seven, eight, and nine. Three famous clothing items. Okay, so you get a kind of description of a clothing item. And um, yeah, three famous clothing items. Famous clothing item number one. A type of felt hat commonly associated with Morocco. Famous clothing type number one. A type of felt hat normally associated, commonly associated with North Africa, Morocco. Famous clothing item number one. Famous clothing item two. Excuse the long-winded description. A cloak. A cloak made of a square or rectangle cloth. It is a hole in the middle for the wearer's head. You would associate this with origins in cultures of Latin America. So it's a cloak, uh, square, rectangular, with a hole in the middle or the centre for the wearer's head and you would associate this garment or clothing item with cultures of Latin American origin. Famous clothing item two. Get all sorts here. nearing the end of the quiz. Famous clothing item three. Principal silk or cotton or synthetic fabric worn in the Malay archipelago and the Pacific Islands. So principal silk, cotton or synthetic fabric worn in the Malay archipelago or the Pacific Islands. Can you figure out that item of clothing associated with the Malay archipelago or the Pacific Islands? Three items of clothing. Okay, your final three in tonight's quiz are numerical books. Okay, you're going to get the author and you're going to get the initials of, no, you're just going to get, I'll, no, I'll, I'll give you the authors. I'll give you the authors. So anyway, here we go. I'll give you the authors. 
Okay, so you're going to get the initials of the book on the screen. So numerical titles. Uh, okay, so there you go. Uh, A T W I E D. Uh, the author. I uh, should have put it up there. Forgive me. Uh, Jules Verne. Jules Verne is A T W I E D. O F O T C N. Ken Kesey. Ken Kesey. Numerical title book number two, Ken Kesey. And Alexandra Solzhenitsyn. O D I T L O I D. Wow. So the authors, respectively, which should have been on the slide, and I've not included, and it's far too late now, but I'm giving them to you verbally. Jules Verne, Ken Kesey, and Alexandra Solzhenitsyn, respectively. Three books with numerical titles. Jules Verne, Ken Kesey, Alexandra Solzhenitsyn, respectively. just repeat the authors for you before I do a complete recap. Jules Verne, book number one, numerical titles, so book titles with a number in the title, A-T-W-I-E-D, Jules Verne, O-F-O-T-C-N, the author, Ken Kesey, and O-T-I-T-L-O-I-D, Alexandra Solzhenitsyn. We're getting all kind of sophisticated. Okay, your final round recap. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Okay, I think here we go. Yep, so a complete recap on your famous Kiwis. Maximus Decimus Meridius, highest point scorer in Test Match Rugby. Your physicist, Encyclopedia Britannica, considers him the greatest experimentalist since Michael Faraday. Those were your three famous Kiwis. Your famous scientists were looking for their first names, Copernicus, Boyle and Nobel, respectively. Your items of clothing, your felt hat, Morocco, your cloak, Latin America, and your thing with synthetic cotton or silk fabric worn in the Malay archipelago in the Pacific Islands, and your book titles, numerical books with from the authors respectively, Jules Verne, Ken Kesey and Alexandra Solzhenitsyn. We'll give you a grand total of 48 points tonight, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your donations, for our charities and keeping this programme going. We're going to have a short late summer, early autumn break, and we'll be back all guns blazing, middle of October. Stay tuned. Here's your answers to your final round. So, to take you up to your grand total of 48 points, Russell Crowe, as in Gladiator, Dan Carter, top point scorer in International Rugby Union, Ernest Rutherford, your physicist from New Zealand, Nicholas Copernicus, Robert Boyle, Alfred Nobel, Fez, Poncho and Sarong around the world in 80 days. One flew over the cuckoo's nest and one day in the life of Ivan Denisovich. And you had to spell that absolutely correct. Only kidding. We're friends here. So, I keep the scores up or the answers up. So post your team names and your scores out of 48. Thank you for tuning in. Keep the scores coming in over the next few minutes. And if you like your music, you don't have to wait two or three weeks. You only have to wait about 15 minutes. Come on to our website if you fancy 
playing fastest finger, jumping into our musical time capsule. You'd be more than welcome. Website only. Mac Jacks, 44. Mountain Pungs, Mulbank, London on 31. Keep them coming in, guys. Douglas Clan, superb scoring. 40 out of 48. Well done, Claire and Andrew. Comfortably done, 483. Well done, Paddy and Breach. Cahiz and the doll. Well done, Desi on 40. Maurice, Marie on 42. Deirdre Mack on 33. Kira and Christina. Well done on 35. Emer, 37. Well done, Emer. Carnegie Collector, 36. Well done, guys. But you did not have the astrophysicist tonight. You need, with every quiz, I recommend you, you, you get an astrophysicist. It's, they're not easy to find. They're thin on the ground, but go and get an astrophysicist. Chicks, bees, 36. Billy and Connor in the cave, superb, 36. No problem, Kieran, Christina. We will miss you on Fastest Finger. Vanessa and Stephen on 40. Paul on 36. Team Dev, 48, 2 out of 48. Chickpeas, five members missing. That's a hell of a lot. Tracy Boyd, 68.75%. Roughly. Waltons, well done, Rhonda. Stephen Kern, did you enjoy? 35 out of 48. Bernie on YouTube, well done on 36 out of 48. Gracias. Buenas noches, Maurice and Marie. Five members missing. I'm lucky there's anybody there. Excellent, guys. So I think tonight's winners, uh, uh, Paddy, 43, or, or we don't normally do this. Douglas Clown on 40. Uh, Mike, Mike Chags, Mike Chags, Claire and Andrew, Mike Chags, 44. Maybe, just maybe. Not that it matters a jot. Take care, guys. Keep safe. Let's not be complacent, but... We're getting there. We're getting there with this whole COVID business. Stay tuned for future events as we move into October, probably two or three weeks time. Yeah, but we're going to, we have big things planned for this autumn and winter. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, if you like your music and you've, you're not going to bed early, come back to the website in about 10, 15 minutes. Love to have you. Lots of love. Take care, guys. Blessings. Bye.